This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. What's going on everybody? I am headed to my scrap pile to pick up a used unit and also dump some more scrap from previous changeouts. Go and install this used unit at uh, a family member's friend's house. Uh, the air went out, they live in a mobile home and they're on a tight budget and you know, they you know, the, the unit that they got, they had somebody else work on it before I was introduced to them. I went and looked at it yesterday. Somebody took all the wires off the compressor. They unwired the uh, the the capacitors and everything. It, there's no telling what's going on. So, and they don't want to fool with it. They they asked me if I had a used unit, and I said yes, I did. And I do have one. I have two of them. I have an old, uh, I have a Carrier Tech 2000 that I could put them, but I'm by myself today. And that thing is a beast to lug around. So I also have this uh, York Luxair micro channel condenser that I took out because the condenser coil was leaking. But my father, has a or ha, has a brand new micro channel four ton coil that he gave me uh he had got it under warranty and the customer decided to just change out the unit so when he called the york store uh they i don't know something i don't know what happened they just told my dad to keep the coil so my dad kept the coil, he gave it to me. Um, so I'm gonna go make sure that it that it is, that it will fit my unit. I'm also gonna call the York store, give them the part number and the model number of the unit that I have and make sure that it will work. Cause some of them are a little different. You know, some of the body styles or whatever you wanna call them are different. So I'm gonna, I'm 99% sure it'll work, but I'm gonna verify it with the York store between the coil part number and the model number of my unit. And if it'll work, I'm gonna swap the coil out real quick and then go install the unit for her. Just cause it's a, it's a newer unit and it's, it'd be a lot easier for me to lug around by myself. And uh, so that's what we're into today so far. Okay, so we're headed down the road with the Carrier Tech 2000 because the York Luxair unit, um, we were not able to identify if it was the correct coil or not by the part number that was on it. Although I am 99.9% .9 sure because I know what unit it came off of. I'm almost confident that's a four ton. Um, the guy at the York store said I could take it off and you know put them side by side and as long as the dimensions are right, then it'll fit. Another reason is, uh, you probably see the, I don't know if you can see the carrier tech. No, you can't see it back there. But um, another reason, the damn door for the electrical panel was gone, which really has my head spinning because I remember when I dumped that unit off at my aunt's house, which is where my scrap pile's at, that door was on there. So I'm kind of trying to figure out what the hell's going on there. So there's no model and serial number on the unit anymore. Sometimes York and other brands will put them inside the electrical panel, but they didn't on this one. So we're just going to go with the Carrier Tech 2000 because everything's there. Uh, still has the old filter dryer attached to it. I'm going to swing by the supplier and pick up a filter dryer real quick. And then uh, we'll go install the unit for them. All right, we're on the job site. We've got the carrier tech in place. There's the old Nordine. Bit the, I'm gonna cut that old dryer out, put a new one, take my bender, bend the 90. It's three quarter copper with a seven eighths. So I'm gonna unbraze this 90 and then stick the, 
three quarter inside that piece of seven eighths. All right, I got the brazing done. Just like I said, I took the Hillmore bender and bent to 90. Right here, I was able to bend all that by hand. We have a new dryer in place. I've started using Emerson dryers. I am a fan of Sporlin dryers, but the Sporlin dryers paint job doesn't last. After about a year, they start rusting out. Um, and I know you guys are gonna say, well, if you put it inside, do we, you know, yeah, I know, I get it. But Emerson dryers last really good outside. They have a much better paint job than Sporlin. And uh, plus this is a mobile home. I don't have much room to put it inside anyway. And this is also a used unit application, budget job. So, you know, most guys wouldn't even put a dryer on, on a, something on a used unit, but I'm gonna put a dryer. So it's all brazed in. I'm gonna go change the piston inside. Or I brought a piston with me. I believe it has the right one, but I'm gonna verify it. All right, guys, I went ahead and changed the piston. There's the information on the coil if you're interested. The reason is is because uh, I have two piston charts saved on my phone. One calls for an 80. I'm sorry. One says 82 for R22410A, and the other one says 84. Uh, all, all they had was an 82, so that's what I put. That makes me feel a little bit better than an 80. To me, an 80 is just a little too small for a four ton. So we put an 82 in there, and now we can go start evacuation. All right, so as we set up for the vacuum on this Carrier Tech 2000, and I'm trying to do this with one hand. Now these carriers, these have king valves. You know, let's not confuse a king valve with a regular service valve. Regular service valve is what you guys are used to seeing. Give me one second. Regular service valve is what you guys are used to seeing. These are king valves. They're shut right now because this unit's been pumped down. There's no Schrader depressor in there. No Schrader core. Schrader depressor. There's no Schrader core. When you want to check your refrigerant, you have to backseat it. So that makes it really easy for the core tool to go on. For evacuation now it's still open to the line set in the coil like it is okay and then we'll take our hose our big our big Appian hose here and hook that up I don't know if this is not getting tight it seems like this should get tight Okay, I had to put a wrench on it, on this unit. I've never had to do that before, but it's tight now. I don't know if I can get this done with one hand either, so probably gonna have to cut the camera off. But I'm trying to hook that up, and then I'll hook the micron gauge down here. That's tight. Now we'll hook up to the pump. I'm gonna, I see a plug in down there. I hope it's hot. That way I can work on the voltage uh, because, uh, and I also gotta change a contactor because apparently one of my dad's guys, when he unhooked this unit, he decided just to pull everything off. So, plus the contactor's kind of black in there anyway. So I'll go ahead and put her a contactor. I can't charge her for that. That's not my fault. One of my dad's guys took the, lug nuts all the way out so get this evacuation started and then work on my voltage all right evacuation has started should start reading here in a minute About 45 seconds in. Pump has gotten really quiet. I would expect to start seeing microns here shortly.
feel like we should have started seeing microns already. We got a short line set with a, you know, this ain't nothing but a little mobile home. Pump has gotten quiet. We're already two minutes and 15 seconds in. Okay, so microns are not coming down. I know I have no leaks, I checked them. I've introduced some nitrogen to the system, which I didn't do the first time, which was a mistake. Now I'm gonna go in here, cause she said, they bought the mobile home used from a dealer though, off a lot used. Sent, they sent their AC guy to change the indoor coil. And the brazing did look pretty sloppy. So we're gonna check that. But I gotta get my drill first. There she is. The old king valve. So we'll have to nylog it, tighten it up. And then uh, everything looks good inside. The Schrader's good. The braze joints are ugly, but they're good. But you can clearly see that's an issue. So we'll have to nylog that bitch up so we can get a proper vacuum. All right, we nylogged both of them just for good measure, and within seconds, we're, I'd say, less than a minute. We're already down to 1543, so we're going to let that sit there and eat and wire up some little voltage and change a contactor. All right, guys, the unit's operational. It's nice and quiet. The old window shaker is holding up the S-Mans. Let's let her settle down for a minute. All right, guys, the job is all done. I'm sorry I didn't get any more footage, but the clouds went away and the sun started beaming on me. But now the clouds are back. But anyway, it's done. She's happy. They have air. The house was cooling off really well when I left. And uh, it's been a long week. I'm exhausted. I'm ready to get home and relax I have done today is Thursday I've done some type of change out every day this week so I'm tired you still you do a change out four days in a row it gets to you I'm looking forward to tomorrow being Good Friday I am a little sad about it though because you every year on Good Friday well I usually go we usually go to my little hometown of Mamu and we eat bald crawfish with the family but because of this coronavirus and the social distancing you know they don't want people gathering in any you know uh, no more than 10 people and i got a big family so that's not going to cut it so we're just going to stay at home and i'm going to fry some fish and some shrimp and we we'll always eat some kind of seafood on good friday and you know in louisiana we love seafood so I'm going to have a couple family members over that are here in Lafayette. Uh, it won't be a big group of people. It'll be real small. I'll fry some fish and some shrimp and uh, try to make the best of things with this coronavirus. Anyway, I hope everybody out there is staying busy with the coronavirus. I hope it's not affecting you too bad. And I hope nobody out there has caught the coronavirus. I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy with, uh, with everything going on right now. All right, guys. Well, I'm done. I'm out. I'm shutting. It, I'm shutting her down for the week, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.